Bill, you recently have uh, noted that more than one billion people lack access to even basic energy services, and you're making a push for clean energy. What does cheap oil do to all this? Are you are you at all concerned that that you know a new era of cheap oil is going to to kind of remove a momentum in a sense toward develop, <coughs> developing clean energy? Well, the energy sector has always been split into two parts: the transport energy, where you need liquids that go in a gas tank mm -hmm. and then electricity. Natural gas uh, in the United States really brought electricity prices down and that's a big challenge for renewables because that's what they're compared against is that that. The transport energy always came at a premium, uh, particularly when oil was eighty, a hundred dollars. Mm -hmm. Now uh, that transport port part is cheaper. But if we can get a really good battery uh, for the car, using electricity will still be economic even against this very cheap oil. So it's tough for climate in that people will buy bigger cars, they will drive more miles, um, but uh, if we can get the, the battery technology right, I still don't see us under threat of being able to switch that over to uh, zero, zero CO2 emissions. Mm -hmm. Microsoft founder Bill Gates is now the biggest private owner of farmland in the US, according to the Land Report, owning over 242,000 acres of agricultural land in 18 states. And one of the reasons for this is his desire to balance profits with an emphasis on clean energy sustainability and agriculture. This venture has a direct link to his work with Breakthrough Energy Ventures, a group working on net zero energy technologies. So in this video, I'll be sharing with you two revenue generating clean energy stocks that stand to explode with 10x upside potential on the back of Bill Gates' bet on clean energy and other existing catalysts. Welcome back. So I'll be sharing with you two stocks with 10x upside, the major catalysts, the company overview and shareholder holdings. My channel is about bringing you the latest market and stocks insight in a timely manner so you don't have to do any work. So if you're new to my channel, please subscribe and hit the bell as I always bring you the hottest stock tips and always get straight to the point. Also, if you enjoyed this video, please make sure you give it a big thumbs up and let me know your thoughts in the comment section below what clean energy stocks you hold in your portfolio. Please keep in mind that these videos are just for information and entertainment purposes and another suggestion to buy or sell any stocks. So any trades you make should be done after your research and due diligence. So with that said, let's get straight into it, starting with the major catalyst. The first big catalyst here is partnerships through Bill Gates' Breakthrough Energy Venture, which was established in 2015 by Bill Gates and a coalition of private investors concerned about the impacts of accelerating climate change. Breakthrough Energy supports the innovations that scale technologies needed to achieve a path to net zero emissions by 2050. They encourage the development of net zero energy technologies, championing policies that speed up innovation from lab to market and bringing together governments, research institutions, private companies and investors to expand and enhance clean energy investments. The next big boost to these firms is the US President Joe Biden's plan to launch a $1.7 trillion of clean energy revolution and implement his vision for tackling climate change. The US President actually hit the ground running on Wednesday with plans to sign a raft of executive orders to set the groundwork of what will be the federal government's most aggressive effort to date to combat climate change. And to ensure that this happens, the presidential science advisor, Eric Lander, is being elevated to cabinet level for the first time. Joe Biden also has Brian Deese as director of the National Economic Council, his top economic advisor at the White House. And prior to this, he was a global head of sustainable investing at BlackRock. These also played a key role in negotiating the Paris Climate Accords. So what this all means is that the mechanism for these clean energy firms to flourish with a share price growth of up to 10x are in place and in motion in both Washington and the private sector. So let's have a look at what these two best stocks are which stand to explode. First off is Fuel Cell Energy, ticker number 
FCEL, FCEL. Fuel Cell has a share price of $17 per share and a market capitalization of $5.5 billion. Its share price has had a really good run over the last three months and risen by over 541%. Fuel Cell Energy delivers clean, efficient and affordable fuel cell solutions configured for the supply, recovery and storage of energy. They provide comprehensive turnkey solutions for customers that include everything from the design and installation of a project to the long-term operation and maintenance of the fuel cell system. Fuel Cell offers its services to various sectors, including utilities companies, municipalities, universities, government entities, and a range of industrial and commercial enterprises. The company, by utilizing its direct fuel cell plants, is commercializing a tri-generation distributed hydrogen configuration that generates electricity, heat, and hydrogen for industrial and or transportation uses, as well as fuel cell carbon captured solution for coal and gas-fired power plants. Their fiscal year 2020 revenue grew by approximately 17% to $70.9 million, also completing an offering of common stock in Q4 netting proceeds of $98 million. The top shareholders in fuel cell own over 21% of the company, with a significant proportion held by institutional investors, notably BlackRock and the Vanguard Group, which hold over 15 million shares each. What's also interesting here is that a majority of the top shareholders have increased their positions in fuel cell quite significantly as well. So some really good and optimistic indication of the bullishness they have in the stock's potential and future outlook. Fuel cell has seven analysts covering the stock, with the majority having a whole recommendation on the stock post the last consensus estimates. Next up is GEVO Incorporated, ticker number GEVO, G-E-V-O. GEVO has a share price of $9.30 and a market capitalization of $1.1 billion. Its share price as well has had a really good run over the past month, rising by over 210%. GEVO addresses the market needs of reducing greenhouse gas emissions with sustainable alternatives and is commercializing the next generation biofuels with diesel, gasoline and jet fuel that have the potential to achieve zero carbon emissions. GEVO uses low carbon renewable resource based carbohydrates as raw materials and is developing renewable electricity and renewable natural gas for use in production processes resulting in low carbon fuels with substantially reduced carbon intensity. Their products perform well or better than traditional fossil-based fuels in infrastructure and engines but with substantially reduced greenhouse gas emissions. In addition to addressing the problem of fuels, GEVO's technology also enables certain plastics such as polyester to be made with more sustainable ingredients. Their mission is to capture renewable energy and transform it into energy-dense liquid hydrocarbons. And sustainable agriculture also offers a potential upside for GEVO, which is exactly the space where Bill Gates plays with the Agricultural Land Bank. The top shareholders in GEVO own over 18.8% of the company, made of a mix of institutional and hedge fund investors. The largest shareholder here is the Vanguard Group, which holds over 12 million shares. And similar to fuel cell, there's been Positive trading of the shares to increase the position to the stock by the top shareholders recently. So some equally good and optimistic indication of the bullishness they have in the stock's potential and future outlook. GEVO has two analysts covering the stock with a buy recommendation. So if you want to invest in the stock, please consider cost averaging as it's at an all-time high and have a stop loss which is acceptable to yourself. If you'd like to see more videos like this, please check out this video right here. Or this playlist right here to watch equally insightful content from my channel or if you're new please ensure you subscribe so i can share with you the latest market insights and tips every week coming up next are equally exciting videos on penny stocks and art invest portfolio so please make sure you hit the buzzer to be notified when the videos are uploaded thank you so much for being here and i look forward to having you in the next video thank you